Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to find pre-chat information that was passed when a chat was initiated. Uh, when a chat was initiated, we will pass some pre-chat information uh, to initiate a chat so that those information will be stored in uh, Salesforce objects and as well as it will be displayed uh, to the agents so that uh, the agent will also uh, uh, have some idea where the chat is coming from and what information the customer has uh, uh, entered while initiating a chat. Um, in this uh, demo, I am going to initiate the chat from Salesforce REST API. Um, I will definitely share how to initiate a chat from Salesforce REST API uh, so that uh, you can also uh, practice it. Uh, I'm not going to initiate a chat from a HTML page or from a Visual Force page. I'm going to use uh, Postman client so that I can initiate the Salesforce chat from the REST API. Uh, and I'm planning to pass a couple of uh, uh, pre-chat information and we are going to see how to query those pre-chat information that was passed when the chat was initiated. So as an agent, I'm going online and uh, this is the query we are going to use conversation context context entry is an entity where the pre-chat information will be stored so i'm going to uh, find what is the key what is the value uh, from the con uh, conversation context entry uh, entity where i will uh, try to pass the parent id so that it will uh, uh, get the conversation contract context entries only for that particular chat transcript record. Um, so I will uh, also give a blog link so that you can get this query. Okay, so this is my postman uh, client. So I'm going to first get the session ID. So I got all the information. I have some script where I am setting all the global variables using Postman. And this is where I'm going to initiate my chat. I'm going to pass subject info and as well as sample info. So for uh, sample info, I am passing uh, sample. So this is the key sample info. This is the value sample. Subject info is another key. Test subject is another value. So I'm going to initiate the chat chat was initiated the response is okay so I'm accepting the chat okay I didn't accept it on time so it got missed but still I'm going to query this chat transcript to find out what information were passed as part of pre-chat so For this, I need the chat transcript ID. So I'm getting the chat transcript ID. And in the developer console, I will be using the transcript ID, which will be the parent ID. So if I query it, see, I passed subject info as test subject and sample info as sample. So this pre-chat details were stored in conversation context entry entity. So using this simple query, we can find out what information were passed when the chat was initiated. This is a, a, pri a primary thing uh, we have to check when the chat was initiated and if the pre-chat information were not passed properly. So this will be our first troubleshooting uh, step. So using this uh, simple query, we can easily find out whether the APA or from the website, the pre-chat information were properly passed when the chat was initiated. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.